Look at these plump shrimp right here. Can you see it? Boom. You see that? Oh. Can you see that? Let's see. Plump shrimp tacos. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Today's Takiera Crawl through New York City is actually in collaboration with Puma. They are dropping their Taco Tuesday pack on Puma.com. Guys, it is a food themed collaboration. You guys should check it out. You know that Puma's killing the game right now. Shout out to LaMelo, but these are the Puma RS. This is a Takiera colorway. There's so much storytelling in this and I think in an increasingly global world, it does make sense because food and sneakers are both some of the most accessible way to experience another culture. What I love about food sneaker collabs is that it always gets so creative because there's so many elements to a taco. You got your cilantro laces, fire emoji on the tongue, keep away from eyes, cause you know, hot sauce in your eyes, that's no bueno. And then you got your chunky salsa on the bottom. I love it. And it makes so much sense because you're gonna be wearing the Takieta themed streetwear with the Takieta themed shoe to go to the Takieta to get some tacos, which is the best street food. They also hooked us up with some gear. You have a hot sauce bottle that's being poured into the shape of the Puma logo. I thought that was kind of creative. You look like a hot sauce bottle right now. So remember, Taco Tuesday, RS Puma Pack on Puma.com. Get yours today. Let's go hit the streets. I would say that sneakers, street food, and streetwear can take you around the world. And right now, we've been teleported to Cancun, Mexico. Yes, we're outside of Tacombe. And Tacombe, actually, uh, the owners are from Mexico and they started as a taco stand outside of nightclubs in the Cancun area. And now they're here in New York. It blew up and they're serving tacos from all different regions. So they actually flew in a Tacombe truck, Volkswagen, mm -hmm. from Mexico just to get the vibes. All right, guys, first round. I got the Sonora style carne asada. I'm excited, I'm gonna squeeze a little lime on there. I've never had a Sonora style taco. Put a little bit on my burrita. Bro, that looks like the soul of the Pumas. Cancun style. Mmm, this is good. Yo. Obviously this food is not cheap, Andrew. This is our high-end resort-based style. I would guess that a lot of the people who frequent Tacombi, Andrew, have probably vacationed in Cancun. Okay, we've got the Baja section, which is a more coastal region on the west side of Mexico. Andrew, and you got the Mexico City region. Yeah, this is a Mexico City style pastor. Baja, Mexico City. You guys, Baja actually happens to be one of my favorite regions because I love fish tacos. The carnitas right here. Man, the food here is good. The homemade tortillas, mm, fire. You know, this pastor, you can tell by how it's cut. It really is rotating on that spit. They just don't have that spit outside for you to see, but you can tell by how it's charred on the outside, man. That tastes like El Flaming Taco Truck over in LA. All right, here we got the vegetarian section. David, we have the mushroom quesadilla. We have the sweet potato taco right here. And then you have a black bean tostada. Oh my goodness. Yo, I never had a mushroom quesadilla before. She said that this is the favorite one. I do know that um, vegan Mexican food and taquerias are becoming more of a thing just as that trend sort of proliferates globally. Had to fold it up like a slice. Yo, it's crispy. Yes. Yo, the mushroom one is good. Kind of tastes like a mushroom pizza. You know, anytime I hear a, something is based off the resort area, the tourist destination, you know, like a cruise ship landing spot, I'm kind of questioning it. Tacombi is valley. Okay, that wraps up our high-end resort Takiera spot, Takiera being a spot that you sell tacos out of. Next spot we're going to is more of a hole in the wall spot in the East Village. Let's go. All right, you guys, we're at our second mid-end spot, Takiera Diana. Andrew, every city has one of these. Now, they vary in quality, they vary in quantity, but every city has a mid-range Mexican taqueria. Just because this is like our mid-level spot, that does not mean they skimp on the quality because these are house-made tortillas, pressed fresh. I will tell you this, guys. They got the sauces on the Puma Taco Tuesday RSs perfectly because you can just take a look at the nachos, Take a look at the sneakers. Take a look at the nachos. Take a look at the sneakers. With the green jalapenos and the guac on top, and then the red sauce on the bottom. I'm not saying you always want your food to look like shoes, but hey, <laughs> Puma did it. Mm. You guys, these are not just your typical game day nachos. Yo, these are something way, way You cannot that. get these at the arena, man. 
I haven't had nachos everywhere in the city, but I would imagine that there's not that many spots better than this. Okay, on to the tacos. I got the poblano pepper taco. I love poblano peppers. It's one of my favorite things to eat out of Mexican food. David, you have the pastor one. Yeah, they even cut off the slice of the pineapple. I know a lot of people love getting al pastor off the spit, and then the pineapple's also roasting on a split, and they cut a little slice off that. Wow. 4.5 out of 5 for this one. Definitely try the nachos and poblano taco. Now, here they've got a chicken taco. I know a lot of people debate over grilled chopped chicken pieces or this shredded chicken. Guys, what I love about this carne asada piece is that actually some of the pieces are still a little bit rare. You see a little bit of pink in the steak, so you know it's still juicy. All right, you guys, I also have a quesadilla. Andrew, over here, you've got the carnitas. Let's compare and contrast. That quesadilla looks super juicy, almost like a birria quesadilla where you see the juices flying out. Wanna try that? All right. It's like a Hot Pocket, bro. As far as Takiera Diana goes, I'm gonna go ahead and give the nachos and the burrito and the quesadilla even better scores than Takomi. But then for the tacos, I gotta go with Takomi. So it just goes to show you, even at a taqueria, they got so many different items on the menu and you might like one item from this one, another item from another one. Probably not one spot is gonna dominate the field completely. What do you recommend? You tell me what's good. Whatever is, is, is good. Everything meat is good. What's not to like? Meat, good. <laughs> All right, you guys, a taqueria is defined as any place that sells tacos. That means a taco truck can be a taqueria. At a time, Andrew, these were the only tacos that were easily accessible in New York that were authentic. I mean, we're talking about the quintessential street taco. We got the two double tortillas right here. Easily the cheapest out of all the taco spots that we've been to, about $3 a taco. You know, some of the spots we're going to, $4, $5, $6 a taco even. Taco, taco truck. truck. Oh, you going for big bites. Definitely better than some spots I've even had, even in LA. I don't know if this taco card is necessarily only for gringos because the spicy sauce is hot. No, this is probably the best taco I had. Oh. It's crazy out here in the streets. No cap, Tacos Cholula easily have the best tacos today out of all three spots we went to. Some of the tacos we had today were double priced, 200% the price of the ones here at Tacos Cholula, but easily the hot sauce was the spiciest and the meats and just sort of the, the energy was the most authentic. I mean, I think when you think about tacos, most people think about them as a street food, something off of a cart or a truck. Tacos are gonna get more and more prevalent across New York City as a street food in particular especially kind of like how halal food has gotten more popular. It may not be on that level soon, but there's gonna be more taco trucks. All right, you guys, we just visited three taquilleras across New York City that are based from completely different parts of Mexico. Andrew, which one was your favorite? Definitely Tacos Cholula. That's the place to go to. You're gonna get that, that spicy, smoky, authentic flavor. I totally can see how street wear, street food, sneakers, it all is in sync together because you're pretty much doing everything on the street, whether you're skating, playing ball, eating street food with your hands, just being very engaged with your local environment. I think it's really cool because one of the main kind of hand foods in New York that you would think of is usually a hot dog or pizza. But especially on the West Coast, David, when we think about street food, we're thinking about tacos. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that video. Please give us a thumbs, like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments section below what other tacos you'd like to see us try around New York City. And until next time, we out. Peace. I see it. I see it. Oh, yo, my, my hoodie looks like a tortilla. Yeah, it's the same color as a tortilla. David has became a taco. <laughs>